Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, the fly fish fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Today we'll be tying a small little uh, uh, caddis pattern. Uh, works really good uh, as a, kind of as an attractor. It's got a little bit of flash in it, a little bit of color in it. So, uh, uh, but it's worked uh, worked really well for me over the years. Um, again, this is another one of those that I I've had phenomenal success with, and I've had bad days with. Um, but that. Uh, you know, it uh, happens with the best flies out there, right? So, I'm going to switch over to my main camera. So today in the vise, I have a Hens BL354 in a size 10. It's a 1X strong. I'm going to be using some Zemperfly Nano Silk in a 12 watt. Uh, I'll be using a little bit of, uh, uh, where are we here? There it is, the Arizona Semi Seal and the Peacock. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of the Green Hens Angel Hair. And I'm going to be using a little bit of the uh, CDC in a olive. Okay, so I'll start my thread here behind the eye. All the way back to the bend, but don't go around the bend. I'm going nip off that little excess there. A little bit further back. And then I'm just going to come forward here. Oh, one thing I forgot that I was that I'm using as well for the rib is the Zemperfly floss in a chartreuse. So that's what I'm going to tie on very first. So just leave just a little bit of room behind the eye. It's not a huge deal. Sorry, if you don't, just as long as you don't crowd your eye. And then keep it on top all the way back. And once you're there, you can just stop. Now I will wax my thread a little bit. Take a little bit of that Arizona Semi Seal and the Peacock. It's real nice stuff. This stuff is, uh, it uh, looks really natural has just a tiny glimmer in it. Um, I like the, uh, the hairline has a uh, pe black peacock one. Um, I really like that ice dub, but it's a little too sparkly for this pattern. So just start off nice and thin at the back here. And then just come forward. You don't want a ton of, of dubbing on this. Just making sure I tighten up every time I go around. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny sliver more there. I want to leave some room at the front, but I do want a sliver more. Yeah, that's good there. So I'm just going to come back a bit just to tighten that up. Now I'm just going to wrap my rib forward, locking it down, cut off my excess, then I'm going to take a little bit of that green, uh, the, uh, the green angel hair from Hens. This stuff is really cool stuff, really nice and supple. Um, I actually, I know Gary Hankey introduced me to this stuff and he uh, uses it for the, the main wing or body, uh, overwing, whatever you want to call it, on his um, minnows. And uh, it is, it's amazing stuff. Really, it's, it's got lots of movement. So I don't want a lot of it in there, just a little bit like that. Even a little bit less would be, oops. Even a little bit less would be okay, uh, a little shorter, but that, that'll do for what I want. So, nice and straggly and buggy looking. That's what you want this thing to be. So I'm just picking off some of those, uh, some of those stragglers here at the front just to make it a little cleaner at the front, that's all. So, now, let this untwist itself, the, the, cape, the, the um, nano silk, and then I'm going to take my CDC feather 
and I'm actually going to load it into a uh, material clip. And this for this material clip, I'm just going to use my cheap little dollar store one, and then loaded it in. And now I'm just going to cut off that center stem because I don't want that. There you go. Now I'm gonna let that again. Make sure that's spun nice and flat on me for me. A little bit more. Sometimes this can be a bugger, especially if you're a blind old man like me. Usually this nano silk is pretty easy to split. You just gotta, just gotta make sure you find the the flat there. That's better, I think. I just overspun it. There we go. So I just give that a little bit of a split. Take my material clip, put it in between. Let, let it come until it comes off the clip completely. Let that go nice and gently. Give that a nice spin clockwise. So now, once it's grabbed a little bit, I'm just going to shorten my bobbin up and then just let it spin on its own there. So once it's spun up nicely, Think that there will do. Yeah, that'll do. So it's spun up nicely. Come back right behind that wing that you've created, and just touching wraps, just gently pulling all these CDC fibers back. And don't get rid of those little short ones right at the front there. You don't like some people will stop. I don't like. I like having a little bit of that, that those shorter ones right at the front to create a bit of a bushy head. Okay, I'm gonna take some of my Sally Hansons. Put a little bit on the on the thread. My whip finishing tool. Of a whip finish. Make sure that's nice and tight. Cut that off. Close your Sally Hansen so you don't dump it all over the place like I did a few days ago. Then I grab my little tweezers and I'm just gonna anything that's kind of sticking out here. I'm just gonna pull it off. Now I could just use a lighter, um, but because I just put the Sally Hansons on there, I don't want it. Okay, that just helps clean up that head a little bit, but that's the finished fly. Now, some of these really, really long guys, like way back here, I might just kind of randomly pinch some of these a little shorter. There. And if you want, you can just give it a quick little, quick little brush, just so you can see. And that's the finished fly. That's it. So. It's, uh, like I said, really effective pattern when it's on, um, but uh, I've, I've done very well on days on this one. Um, sometimes instead of the, uh, the green flash under there, I'll put on just some straight silver or straight UV, right? Uh, just a few four or five strands of that underneath instead, um, or I'll even go half and half, but this, this one here seems to be the one that, uh, that I've done the best on, so. Alrighty. Uh, the other one is also taking, instead of the green rib, going with the orange floss rib. All right, that wasn't even the orange floss. Uh, no, that's the floor break. Uh, I got the orange floss in here somewhere, but that's the other one. It's using the orange floss for the rib. All right. Well, tight lines, everyone. If you like that video, please give her a thumbs up. Uh, if you've subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, please consider doing so. Uh, once I, uh, I've just reached 500 subscribers, once I reach 1,000, I'll be giving away a copy of both of the books that I've written. And uh, yeah, so uh, including shipping. So just uh, 
invite people and share and uh, we'll get that up to a thousand and then everybody that's uh, the thousand people will be eligible to win the books. Alrighty, tie lines everyone.